This is your instructor here, John Medulla, within a screencast. This one, After Effects, how you can use uh, track mats to reveal certain areas, kind of animate them in, and use the pan behind tool to uh, affect the direction of them. So you see I have this video footage here called Top. I'm just going to take this and bring this down into my timeline. It's called Top 2. Actually, just for sake of simplicity, I'm just going to rename that Top. So here's my Top uh, composition. You can see it's over here. It's just black. Like it's going, I'm actually just going to trim a little bit off that so it starts green and then slide that over. It starts like this, it's me turning around like this or whatever. About nine seconds or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rectangle tool here and I'm going to draw a shape. Uh, let's just say I'm guessing about, I don't know, a third. Let's just say it's something like that. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is use my pan behind tool and grab on this um, anchor point from which the shape changes. I'm going to do this a little bit. Scroll that out a little bit. And I'm just going to use my black arrow tool and position that back up there. There we go. And then what I want to do is transform this and I want to use it on scale. So first before I do scale I'm going to uncheck the chain layer, check the chain layer so it goes away, it's empty, so I can affect just one dimension to the other, so I click on scale. But what I want is for this, if I go like this, you can see it's like that, so okay, I need to adjust my pan behind tool now. Again, grab that, put that over there. That's fine. Now, scale it all the way to zero, so it's at nothing. It's at zero seconds. I'm going to go to two seconds, let's say. And this could be a hundred. So the idea is that it goes from zero and then it will tween itself automatically from zero to a hundred. Like that. And that's great. It grows out that way. So now I can close this up and I'm going to call this um, yeah, shape layer one is fine. I can leave that. Now if I don't see the track mat, I might see this option. Click toggle switches and modes to get the track mat. And on the top video footage, I'm going to set it to alpha mat shape layer one. So what happens is it's only being revealed when that shape is growing. Where that shape is is what's going on. Uh, it's important that I leave the shape and the footage to go as long as the composition is set for, which is just shy of 10 seconds. And I leave them both there. We're going to learn why uh, coming up. So now that I've got that, what I can do is I can leave top open. That's fine. I'm going to go here in my project panel. I'm going to click on the top composition, not the footage. QuickTime video with the actual composition. I'm going to edit and duplicate it. Okay, so I have top. So I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to call this middle. And I'm going to double click on that to open it up. You can see I have middle here. Now it's the same thing as before. What I want to do is have this rectangle be the middle and not the top. So what I'm going to do is just click on this on the shape layer. There we go. And tool. I can go to view, show rulers, I'm just going to drag a guide down at the bottom. And then what I can do is move this rectangle to snap to that guide like that. There's the middle. Now this info might appear. I'm just going to bring info down here like that. Um, and so now I going, you can see it's revealing the middle, but the problem is revealing it during the same two seconds. I wanted this to not happen until after the top happened, the top to happen, then I want the bottom to happen, or the middle to happen, I should say. So I can just take this and drag it over until two seconds, like this. Okay, so I won't see anything in this composition until two seconds, then it reveals it this way. What I really want, though, is I want it to reveal from the other side. So all I have to do for that is get the pan behind tool, just drag this point to the other side. And what should happen is exactly what I thought. It's going to grow it from the other side in two seconds and four seconds. So I need to duplicate this one more time and for the bottom, and then we'll put them all together and see what it looks like. So see you in a bit.